happens to the chat room. Turn this up a little bit. Hey, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> can you Talk see me? Bit? Can you hear me? Is that what the other screen either way? Yeah. Um, just talking a little bit. Okay. Because it's on the screen. Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, not sure if anyone's actually going to come onto this live or not, but we're here anyway. Yeah, surprise, surprise stream from, uh, <laughs> what day is it? Saturday night, TwitchCon. Day two. Day two. It's been an adventure. Yeah. Uh, a good adventure. Yeah. Yeah. So this is Jason Karras. Hi. I'm Happy Kaiju. And this is uh, Paris and Stereo. And this is Paris and Stereo. Um, we, so we drove down from Portland on uh, Thursday. Right. And made a day of it. Cause it takes about a day. Yeah, it's like an 11-hour drive. So yeah. we um, didn't have any problems on the way down. No. Uh, the, the drive down was great. We had, some, we had a playlist uh, that, that we made that just for the occasion. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, it's a beautiful drive. Once we got out of Portland, there were no clouds. Right. And, uh, and then on Friday morning, we got up and got to TwitchCon, which uh, if anyone is watching or sees this that made it to TwitchCon on Friday morning, we have the same story that you do. Right. Huge, long lines. With no direction. Right. It was um, terrible. Many disgruntled streamers and community members. Yeah. But we, we were okay. It seemed like we were surrounded by really positive people. Yeah, no one seemed um, super disgruntled. Uh, I heard that it got worse as the day went on. Yeah, that was what was bad, as I heard there were people that, um, that got there about noon that were only able to be in for about an hour that the convention was going on. Yeah. So they missed kind of all day. We missed the keynote. Yeah, I, I thought going into it, I'd be like, well, shoot, I, I'm sad we missed the music performance because I, I think 88 Bit uh, did something. What was it? Did yeah, some sort yeah. of music performance yeah, before performance the keynotes. We're like, oh, well, okay, at least we'll make the, the keynote. And then it became obvious that we weren't even going to make that. Right. Because uh, we got there, I guess it was around 10. <laughs> I feel like it was earlier than that, but I'm not sure exactly yeah. what time. Yeah. We, we kind of, you know, went to a local coffee shop and, and lazed around for a little while. And we Easy were breakfast. Like, yeah, we're like, oh, we'll just, you know, we got we a little bit of time. Because we knew it was going to be a long day. We, no we thought we were going to be out till like, 10 o'clock. So we were like, we'll just saunter over and right. um, get our badges because we didn't mess with that yet. So we had to stand in the line to get our badge for probably an hour and a half. Yeah, it was it was kind of crazy. Maybe it was more like two hours. I think it was more like two, yeah. Yeah, it snaked the whole way around. So they had, like three, four hour yeah. long waits in the afternoon. So, so it, that's terrible. It got way worse. Um, and it would have been way better if they had just sent some people out with badges that we knew were with the conference to be like, okay, you just stay in this line and everybody, you know, right. be cool. <laughs> um, <clears throat> or if there was another entrance or something, but it was just anarchy. So I didn't realize like that there was a lot of ire about it until, right. um, until I looked on Twitter and they were calling it line con and yeah, all this other fun <clears throat> stuff. But well, I mean, I understand if I bought a badge on Friday and couldn't get in until, you know, 5 o'clock, I would be pretty righteously angry. Yes. Um, yeah. So I was bu I was bummed that we missed it. We've got to read and see what the new uh, announcements were. Yeah, they apparently announced some new features and new stuff, so super cool about that. I mean, it's, um, we're still pretty new to this whole experience, so I think it's mm. it's been a learning... Um, it's been fun learning new stuff um, finding all the people that we've met along the way um i definitely would have liked to see more like mingling events yeah um, uh the networking stuff like seems to be pretty much you just gotta like force yourself up to people and be like hey you know right uh it would be great to see some like engagement like between people or, or games or things between like other streamers um but aside from that i think it's been a really a really good so we started out we ran to a panel and started learning kind of right. as much as we could and we wanted to sit down in the air conditioning i'm not gonna lie <laughs> it was nice yeah that definitely it it was uh it was crazy the first day it's probably the craziest con i've ever been to i've been to a few um anime cons and and sci-fi stuff but um and the, we just last week went to the portland retro gaming expo yeah and this was just like leagues different um, obviously taking over the She's entire so convention massive. center, yeah. uh, which is just insane. Ob I mean, they went to great lengths to um, showcase Twitch. I mean, there, there's 
stuff everywhere. Out the outside of the building is plastered with. Mm. with yeah, um, they've like wrapped the stairwells yeah, with it, logos and things. It was which, crazy. Which we noticed are the same logos from the same color scheme from HQ, the game app. So. Yeah, I just realized that the other day. If you guys play HQ at all, um, a lot of the same kind of color scheme, which is interesting. It's really funny. I keep I keep looking for a galaxy. I think it, it's just like this new idea. In fact, I remember when I worked. Um, I worked for Verizon years ago, and they did this thing where they didn't quite, they had these holiday wrappings that they put on things, but it wasn't quite holiday, it wasn't, try, they were trying not to be, festive, not yeah. Like, yeah, and it was these weird, like, festive shapes, like circles and lines and everything was kind of colorful, um, it's sort of like that, I feel like it's almost like a, an attempt not to be too specific. Uh, in your branding, just be like, just kind of a generalized excitement. Yeah, sometimes it's flows, and sometimes it's flowers. Yeah, very shapes, colorful. And... Kind of Google does the same thing. They have oh, a very sure, colorful yeah. look to everything. Um, but <laughs> it's well branded. Yeah. Uh, so. The panels we've been to have been fantastic. Kind of one of the first things we did was kind of figure out the lay of the land and like the floor plan and uh, just walk around. And in doing so, we saw a picture. Mm -hmm. You want to tell that story? It's one of those like wall of selfie things where they. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they make a uh, mural, and it looks like something. Yeah, so they were doing this thing where if you uh, hashtag TwitchCon, um, they would print out a little photograph of your Instagram post or, or Twitter post or whatever, um, and just kind of a, a way to show off their, they had, uh, I can't remember the name of the company now, but um, I think it was Luster. Luster, that's like a little Lister. Um, but they had these little boxes that are actually connected um, so they could print out from each one. They were all just, you know, tied together. And we were looking through the photos and actually saw Aaron um, in one of them in the background. Aaron from Game Grumps. Eager Raptor. Eager Raptor. Um, and I saw that there and I'm like, oh my gosh, is he at this convention? This guy's been watching <laughs> him for like five years. Yeah, I've been watching Game Grumps since they were a thing. And I was super stoked to find that he was there. And not only was he there, but he was like in a kind of incognito like, you wouldn't have known he was there unless you were following his social media mm -hmm. um, type thing. We had to uh, search for his booth in the expo room, but um, it was yeah, great. He down. was super nice, and um, he, we bought a couple of stickers from him. Yeah, um, which is another funny thing, because we actually, um, we we have a tiny fridge that we just got to, uh, right. to expand our, our chilled beverage selections. Because mm -hmm. uh, we we love some sparkly <laughs> drinks. That's right. Um, and, uh, it's just a little just a little fridge, and we were like, "Hey, let's cover it with stickers and like find right. some cool stuff." And we found some great things, but it just turns out that he was selling some stickers that were his design, so we were excited. About that. Yeah, about that. Had him uh, sign our our schedule, and uh, he was super nice and mm -hmm. super sweet, and yeah, it was a great experience. I mean, it took like I think we were in line to to talk to him because obviously people did know he was there, and mm -hmm. and while he is of an internet celebrity on YouTube, um, he, I don't think people realized he was going to be there beforehand, yeah. so uh, it wasn't like, you know, they were going to see a Game Grumps panel or something, and so it, uh, it was really like maybe 10, 15 minutes. We had to wait in line to see him, and that was it. And They're on uh, one of those other platforms. <laughs> right, exactly. So, uh, yeah, but it was, it was, that was cool, and it was funny that that happened right away, and it reminds me, like, of our, our trend for standing in line has been to get there just before it gets really bad. Right, yeah, we, we've noticed this. Our, we had a bad wait, but it's, like, been getting bad, Every like, place right we go to, here. restaurants and otherwise, we, we always seem to, like, slip in there right before the, the crowd comes in, so. Yeah. We had that happen there, and we also we had that kind of happen at the Twitch Sing, so I did that t uh, today. Yeah, so that other stuff was yesterday. We kind of just, like, had lunch. Yeah. We went to the party. We'll talk about that in a minute. Oh, yeah, the party. Well, we can talk about, about that. Let's just, like, do it all in one day. Cause yeah, yeah, that makes we sense. We have notes, but we're not just going to Um... So yeah, so after um, everything was done, I, apparently some people only got in like an hour before the whole convention uh, ended, mm -hmm. which is insane, but I feel really bad for the people that had one day passes. I'm interested to find out if they did something about that because we got an email towards the end of the evening saying like, oh, so sorry, and um, you know, we're going to do better with the lines, which is totally what happened the next day, but um, after... After the convention, we went around um, seeing everything. They had this party and it had all these charter buses. Yeah, like was, like big charter buses. Yeah, big old charter buses going to the stadium. Um, and I didn't know what stadium it was, but it turns out it's the stadium for the San Jose Earthquakes, the local, well, not local, but the, yeah, the local MLS soccer team. Um, so 
big stadium, and the whole thing was just decked out as usual for Twitch stuff. They had these little glow-in-the-dark, um, these guys, uh, and, uh, actually not glow-in-the-dark, yeah. but they I actually, don't know if you can see it. yeah, no. they light up, for sure, and they had these things, and they had, um, they had some, uh, DJs going, and yeah, live Cray, music, Cray is a singer, and I just, think. you had entire, they rented out the entire stadium for everyone. So there were, like, photo ops, and um, we could sit Bouncy castles we were there. There were bouncy castles, food trucks. It was kind of uh, crazy being in the middle of the field, just getting a sense of, like, what it would be like to be a professional um, sports player. Yeah, <laughs> a professional that's soccer just, player. That's never going to happen to me. I don't know. Maybe you can... No, no. Yeah, I've never yeah. been... It was honest, cool. Uh, uh, field it like was that. right by the airport, so you could see all the planes ending on one end of the field, so that right. was kind of rad. So it was really fun just being able to see... Just being in that massive structure in the middle of it you know not on the side necessarily and they had uh vendors out or just the uh, concessions out there food trucks like room I said. for everybody to spread out yeah they had uh they brought bean bags out to the um field which yeah. was kind of fun and then i went with those bean bags um and had a huge light show uh thing for their dj set i mean like it could have been a regular concert that you would have spent money yeah to go out to see it was very well produced um <clears throat> yeah <clears throat> We yeah. stayed there for a little while. Um, it was a long day, and we had just driven, you know, the night we before. We stayed there, yeah. We didn't get forever. back to rest until, like, yeah, it was like 10. 11. Yeah. 11, yeah. Um, <clears throat> but, yeah, we were ready to go at it again today and, and did so. And went, Yeah. So what's the highlights mm -hmm. from today? The highlights today, getting there and getting in. Yeah, got in there and got in quick. Got in, like, super like, quick. Like, Five minutes standing yeah. in line, and we were in the door. Yeah. So they way lax. They uh, went lax on the security uh, more. <laughs> they didn't go lax on the security. Well, I mean, people comparatively, had and there were actually people directing traffic, so people weren't trying to merge. Yeah. People I mean, who'd been standing in line for ever. Well, no. They, I mean, yesterday they were a lot more vigilant about uh, backpacks and that kind of thing, and this time they were like, okay, you don't even have to take stuff out of your pockets now. I think there a lot of those things were slowing down the line. Is what I mean. Um, oh, because yeah, last I time like I went in, I had to take all the stuff out of my pockets and put it in a, oh. a bowl, and then they had to take it out. Um, but this time they were like, just if you don't have a bag, just They're come on through. They're still definitely like checking, though. We're still safe. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, don't no, I, I'm not. And prayers. We're fine. <laughs> and don't bring your guns because we don't want you there. Right. No, I mean everything went, went off uh, without a hitch. So without a hitch. Um, but I'm just saying, like they, yeah, they definitely loosened some some regulations that they were doing the day before and open more entrances and all kinds of working stuff. Working a lot faster. And had people, like you said, out actually like trying to uh, make sure everyone was going on the right lines and the right spots. Um, so a far cry from the day before, which is sure. great. Yeah. Um, hopefully they can, you know, I don't know if they're going to still, uh, apparently they've done this convention at different locations every single year. They need, they need to bring it up to Portland. Yeah, that'd be great if they had it in Portland. If we, you're listening, Butch, if you're excited. getting this. That's right. Portland has a huge convention center with multiple entrances. It's a LEED Platinum Certified Building. It's a beautiful space. Beautiful space. And we'll be your best friends forever. Um, and we saw a couple of really cool panels. Uh, mm -hmm. One about... Um, gosh, uh, Just like learning. There was a bunch of stuff extensions. that we... Extensions. Yeah, we, we got some exploring to do on extensions for sure. Some uh, advice on that kind of thing, too. We visited uh, the Blue... Um, yeah, so we did some shopping today. Did some shopping today. Which is kind of where we are going to end. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. But I got a hoodie for yeah, Discord. Discord hoodie. Really yeah, cool. We I'm wanted to go excited. to the Loot Cave, but they said like a two, three hour wait. No thanks. Go shopping. I'm like, and they were out yeah, of the they were out of the commemorative know. stuff by the time we decided it was right. worth standing in line for. stuff for this year, I guess. Yeah, so we don't we won't have any of that. But boohoo, we got pictures. And now we're streaming. From, this could only be a hotel, right? Right. <laughs> yeah. So we're um, clearly somewhere else. Yeah, we got uh, a new Yeti microphone from Blue. I'm really excited about using. Yeah. Um, and that's going to be shipped to that's us. That's just for the show we got that. And yeah. we got a, a great like a boom arm, so it should be easier for us to to maybe both talk. And that's something that we hope you like the idea of. We'll be excited when it's the game. No, that's fine. They can't see that. Soft or taking the lead. No, I can see it, so I wanted to know what's going on with the game. Yeah, yeah. We're, um, well, anyway, so we were going through... Uh, Blue was really cool. They had a great discount on the Yeti and, and a desk uh, Yeah, I, if you're shopping stand. for a microphone, this is the time and yeah. place to go get it. I think it was like a $50 off type thing, so mm -hmm. that was really sweet. And we kind of knew that because we're uh, thinking about doing some more gaming. We did like the one stream, but I think we're going to start making that a... 
Well, yeah, and then Minecraft. we can write songs about the games and gameplay based yeah. on whatever you guys say. Yeah, we asked a cool question in one uh, one of the panels, and, and got that great idea. Yeah, I'll figure out who gave us that because that was great. Yeah, uh, that was like yesterday, but I know it's all gonna be kind of yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, like between this and the Portland Retro Gaming Expo, it's like all one big con in my head right now, and I'm yeah. like, what was that? Last we week? took tons of notes, but yeah. uh, and lots of walking around, obviously, but yeah. yeah. We learned a lot about uh, fundraising. Right. Oh, we can talk about the karaoke thing. Did that. Uh, yeah. Too? Yeah. But yeah, the, the we charity learned screen. Fun, the charity plaza is so cool. There's Very a cool. live game show set there. Um, and there are these bean bags and these chairs. So uh, people are just kind of congregating and watching these games. And these are streamers that are, you know, beloved, I suppose. And, yeah. Um, <clears throat> they're kind of just doing some games like reverse match game, which if you don't know about game shows you should get to know them check yeah. out buzzard and uh yeah it's a, it's a stream our, on twitch buzzard is great yeah and if you've seen our our place your studio has like some some game show memorabilia in there mm -hmm. so uh so we're big fans so we were like oh this is so cool <laughs> and uh, uh then we talked to there's some great organizations here to write love and rr and save the children um player versus hunger who right. else we talked to child's play Child's Play, um, Stack. Doctors Without Borders. What was that one? Uh, stack Up group. There was One Up Against Cancer, or One Up on Cancer. Um, yep. Uh, yeah, Stack Them or something. I don't know. We, we'll have stack to Stack Up game, uh, yeah, Gaming. Uh, like some great organizations and um, some great causes. So we did that, and we learned, um, then we went to the thing that you just said. Right? Yeah, so we went to a thing called Twitch Sings. Um, and apparently it's going to be a new upcoming, like, thing you can add to your stream, uh, which is basically just karaoke. And because we missed the keynote, you probably heard more Yeah, about I'm sure. Have. But, uh, <laughs> it looks like they, they had a line, for, uh, one was, side was streaming, one side was not, so, um, the streaming side, which is what I ended up going on, um. Yeah, we sit in line extra for you. Yeah, that's right, so. <laughs> on, I think, it, it, strangely enough, they had a channel, and I don't know how they were working this channel thing, but they had this whole hair metal idea, and then no one in line was doing any hair metal songs, so I think that was kind of a, a no weird thing. <laughs> no one's gonna do Right? I think they should have just made it, like, karaoke for the whole day. Yeah. Uh, just, you know, whatever it comes through, but it, it didn't seem like anyone was really minding that. Um, but the, the chat had, like, 400 people uh, in it. There, there were a lot of viewers. Yeah, and, I got some good feedback. Uh -huh. They like, what, you, did you say this already that you did a Bob Marley song? I didn't say yet. Um, no, but I, I yeah, Bob Marley song. I did. Um, it's this love. What's up? No, I was just being stupid. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's, it's it was a lot of fun. They had a cool. Um, it was uh, it was against like a green screen basically, and they were able to put yeah like, this whole put it into like a, a crowd. Um, make it look like you were on a big screen in front like of a big a, stadium. Yeah, there's it's really a bunch cool. of people just like cheering. Yeah, it was uh, really cool. Yeah, and you couldn't see the chat, but I was watching the chat. I couldn't see the chat, you but... You could see the emojis. They had this cool. really cool thing where you could do challenges, and so one the challenge I had what, that they voted on apparently was um, so good. I had to sing like an opera singer, so for part of the song I just started transitioning into Killed that it. and got like an XP something for that so if this is something that comes through and we're able to add it to our channel we're thinking about even um doing some of that karaoke because they were obviously they weren't real they weren't um they were karaoke tracks so they weren't like the original tracks um and they were pretty good uh and i wonder how big of a thing that they're gonna you know how big that gets because that's a really interesting thing to be a part of so yeah we might end up doing a, a karaoke night one night yeah. Um, yeah I don't know how exciting that would be for people to watch me sing yeah, we'll six see. million songs for we have, hours we have more questions for people that watch Paris and Stereo than yeah. we have answers from this convention yeah we're, we're always looking for ways to expand and, and change and, and make the channel more exciting for everyone who watches it and mm -hmm. frequents it because I think that's exactly what we want to do we want to be entertaining and, and develop a community and I think I think this is definitely I mean we feel a little galvanized, I think, from this whole weekend yeah. because we... It's very validating. And yeah. it's good to hear that like that some people that are, are new to streaming like we are, they have had the same challenges. And the same thing with people who've been streaming for a really long time. Right. Um, and we had a panel of people this, this evening that have been like five, six years 
streaming on Twitch, which is great. Mm-hmm. Um, but they have the same like experience in some ways that like we're having right now. They've all been through this. They've right. all seen it. Um, and they all understand like the changes that have happened in the community and like had some great success. And we're like, you know what? We're, you know, enjoying this. I think. Yeah, I think it, it could only get better from here. Um, and we're really excited about. Yeah, all we just want to find more, more days of the week that we can do some streaming on top of the, the work that we do in yeah. the rest of our lives and just <laughs> and keep having fun. Yeah, we're planning on uh, tomorrow uh, hit up a couple. There's actually a music streaming um, yeah. panel that we're going to be going to as well as some there's other ones panel. about there's charity. A panel on, yeah, there's a panel on like, fundraising that's happening kind of first mm-hmm. thing in the morning. Um, so I want to I wanna check that out. We're gonna I am, see if we I can am profoundly inspired, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> We're going to see if we can run by, um, maybe run by the Loot Cave and see if it's not a two-hour yeah, wait tomorrow. If we can get left. there really early tomorrow. Because <laughs> yeah. the, uh, the fact that the lines are so short, or at least so quick this morning, mm-hmm. makes me feel a little better about maybe... Just getting there super early. Yeah, maybe we can actually get our hands on some of that sweet, sweet loot. Speaking of sweet, sweet loot, if you want yeah, to use that transition. Of, this is kind of where we wanted to end. Yeah. This is so the last thing we bought. The last thing we got today, just randomly, was one of these guys, which is pretty cool. Yeah. We don't know what's inside this. No idea. Um, they had a bunch of little mystery boxes. We we kind of pined after this, or I did, pined after this one. Um, oh, no, I definitely boom wanted box this one. one. Um, yeah, but, but we're going to open this guy and see what kind of fun little goodies are inside. And, yeah. And it'll be the, a news to us as well. So if you're at if you're at TwitchCon and you yeah. see this, you should go. It's in the back corner of the expo hall near the meet and greet, uh, and they have all kinds of cool stuff. But it looks like they were sold out of a few kind of fan yeah. boxes, but whatever. They had the Golden Girls and Bob Ross in the series. I don't know. Yeah, they mentioned that the um, the Golden Girls one potentially had oh, cheesecake geez. inside. I don't know how you do that. Yeah, I don't know how you keep that good. But yeah, this is. I don't know how to, to do this. If I should make it so that it's, um, we should like not I think look. You should and, like put your hand in. Yeah, because I yeah. don't know what it's what it's like in there. Um, this <laughs> is I'm trying to in there. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. All right. So let's see here. Yeah, this this box. Expect that on the on the back of the set when you're playing. Next time. Oh, and I will take a second to. I'm gonna get small things first. Small things. Go, yeah. go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say something about tomorrow night. Yeah, please. We'll probably stream from the road if we have signal. Um, but it'll probably be on our way midday. And we probably won't stream for long. We may be in and out, but it probably won't be the usual. It definitely won't be the usual music. So, right. Um, on, it's an 11 hour car ride. Yeah. Back on on Wednesday evening, Pacific time, and on Sunday, we usually do the improv stream. So that'll be back on Wednesday and Sunday. We'll get back to kind of a normal schedule after the last couple of weeks in the concert that we just streamed. Uh, Psycho Palooza. Yeah, it's been a crazy amount of two fun. weeks here, but it's been fun. So I'm tired. So back to the mystery box. All right. So first thing, we it looks like we got a little Buffy the Vampire Slayer figurine. But what's funny about this is that this is also a mystery because we don't know what's inside here. It could be one of many, Ooh, a double many ones. A double mystery mm. box. Wow. All right, and it's even in a black or a purple container. Jeez, they're really going far for this. They're really going far. They're making us work for this. Alright, alright, alright. Let's see. So it says, welcome to the Hellmouth. Yeah, exactly. Now, of course, I gotta find... Oh, here we go. To find where you can open this thing. There's 20. All so right. you can collect them all. What a crazy wild idea. Oh, it's... I think it's... Oh, it's this girl. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is that... Oh, no, that's Buffy. Who is that? I think it's, oh, it's Willow. Okay, it's I thought Willow. it was. So it's Willow. Look at that. Ooh, pretty exciting. I've only <laughs> seen the movie in the first episode of the series. Hey, how's it going? You have something to watch. Hey, how's it going? Is it <laughs> Unreal? Yeah, we're like Unreal 34L <laughs> Gaming. Yeah. Hi. How you doing? Happy TwitchCon week. Happy TwitchCon. We're opening up this guy, which is just a mystery box that we got. And so far fun. we have a we have a Buffy action figure. It's yeah. not Buffy, it's Willow, but that's okay. I'm not I'm sure how much. Okay. Unreal, yeah. Unreal Gaming, Unreal. 34. Man, I played Oh, Unreal, Unreal th- yeah, because it's Lee speak. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Unreal. <laughs> I thought you said I'm Real. I'm sorry. Unreal Gaming. Very cool. Yes, welcome in. Do you play, like, Unreal Tournament? Yeah. Because that is one of my favorite games ever. That game is Unreal. I I've used heard. to I used to kill my ex. Not, not actually kill him. Yeah. I used to destroy him playing that game. Strangely, how I don't know how you killed him more than once. 
Oh, it was easy. <laughs> he made it easy. Okay. Yeah, back in the day, that's really cool. Oh, man, yeah. Speaking of back in the day, look at the second item in this. It? It, it looks to be a Transformers <laughs> lanyard. Awesome. With a Transformer. So you got you got Autobots and Decepticons mm. on either side, depending. On, and so it probably flips around depending on how you're feeling. Maybe it's like a mood mood thing. Yeah. <laughs> but, <laughs> we can put that with the rest of our Transformers code. And look, it was $7. <laughs> I like that they still have like yeah, tags they, on like, some of these they, things. Yeah, they like put price. But that's pretty nice. It's got like Transformers written on it. Um, yeah. You want to so, put your Twitch badge on it and wear it tomorrow? Yeah, no, I'll definitely be wearing this tomorrow. Okay, cool. Um, now I got a cooler lanyard and it feels much nicer on my neck. Are you? If you're at TwitchCon, say hi and we'll we'll find you somewhere tomorrow because we we're gonna Hell be yeah. here for the morning. We gotta drive back. Yeah, you know, I I heard about that Bumblebee movie. There was a teaser done a couple of months ago, and it was one of those moments where I'm like. Mm. So that actually looks movie. really good. It's uh, I think it takes place in, in the uh, is it does it take place in the eighties? Yeah, I think it's like firmly in the in the early eighties. Oh my gosh, can we take the kids if we go if it's on in the theaters during November? Yes, absolutely. That'd be great. Not the kids, but we're gonna see my. Nephew. Is that that's? I think it's over Christmas though. That's coming out. Shoot. It may be Christmas, pre first movie. Yeah, exactly. So it looks. I I think depending on how crazy it gets, but I feel like. Having a, a little kind of microcosm um, Transformers story is going to be the first time I've been excited about a Transformers movie, probably since before the first is, one came is out. Is Weird Al doing a song for the soundtrack again? Oh, because right. I feel <laughs> like that, be stupid. Yeah, I feel like Dare to Be Stupid is is one of the best moments in you a know, Transformers uh, movie. You know, I heard that Mark. I'm opinionated. I apologize. No, I heard that Mark Mollisbaugh, um actually mm. he approved Weird Al's Dare to be Stupid as cuz it's a Devo ass track. They were he was going for a Devo sound. Goodness gracious. And he said that I, that Weird Al slammed it out of the park on that one. That's so, which amazing. is Weird must Al. have been a, what a great what a career great. that guy's had. Um okay, we got also, oh jeez. Game of Thrones. Is that a cookie stamp? Oh my god, it looks like a I'm surprise. seeing a lot of stream and TwitchCon, the title, so what's all about, where is it, where do you do that? Oh, so TwitchCon uh, is this weekend in San Jose, and a lot of people, as you, as you are seeing, um, are a part of it. It's Basically, a yeah, it's a convention where all the people, uh, I mean, a lot of people who... about streaming? Sorry. No, you're fine. A lot of people who um, stream come down there and, and say hi to each other and learn stuff about how they can make their stream better. Um, mostly, it's just a big party. In a lot of ways. It's true. It's definitely a place for people who are either streaming or, or have, like, streamers that they have an affinity with and they want to, like, meet them or um, if they want to buy art. There's some cosplay. There's a cosplay costumes or a cosplay contest tonight um, that we were not at, but we saw some fantastic works in the, in the hallways. Yeah, it's really nice. <clears throat> um, yeah, and uh, you can just, there's conversations. There's a ton of vendors, people that sell things. Like, we, we bought a microphone today. Right. Um, a little bit of a discount because Blue is right because, there. And because kind of Blue like, is great. Yeah. Um, we met some charities. We met some... And then there, there are, like, new video games. Like, Bethesda's there talking about Fallout 76, which is dropping any minute or third, I guess. I don't know. It might have already. Uh, I haven't... We've been too busy. Um, I know. I haven't seen a lot of things But lately. there's lots of game demos, and um, there's, like, a whole role-play... Or, um, not role-play, tabletop room. Um, yeah. There's been a lot of oh my gosh, you're so and so. I watched. I mean, freaking guest jeans is there. Like it's it's a weird place. Sorry. Yeah, Bethesda was totally there. Yeah. Um, they were showcase. They, they were, were doing, doing a demo. A lot of places were doing. I think they were doing like a Quake thing, uh, like a Quake Arena tournament thing. Uh, a lot of different places were mm. doing tournaments. Um, there was an entire Fortnite like tent. Yeah, there's a whole outside of the convention center, oh. like a whole building for Fortnite. Uh, yeah. They were doing a big giant um, thing, and then another one. Fortnite's that was massive. doing. Uh, There's a the Doritos uh, bowl. <laughs> bowl. They're calling it the Doritos Bowl. There's right. a esports thing happening in the corner. I didn't even see what game they were playing, honestly. Yeah, there was. I think some new um, games, kind of like League, League of Legends esque mm. type games, they were playing. Um, I mean, there was just so much going on. Well, there's the a Expo. big tournament happening somewhere, but I don't know. Yeah, there was something across the street, and yeah. it might have been like Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Um, so it. A lot of things that, since I'm a music streamer, I don't do a lot of those things, but it was super cool. Um, games we weren't super there for. Um, 
I mean, Fallout 76 was cool to see a little bit of... I'm a huge Fallout fan. Yeah. I'm a huge, huge Fallout fan, so when I got to see that it was there, I was excited. Right. I was excited to see that it was there. It was um, fun. I saw a few people with the, the like, the mask. Mm-hmm. The, the, you know, the guy. Um, <laughs> uh, isn't it called... No, we're just, like, the worst. I, I feel like we don't... Well, I keep wanting to say Pit Boy, but that's the... That's the thing. The device. Yeah. Anyway. Um, Anyway, so, yeah, I was excited to see that that was there. I saw the, um, is it Sea of Thieves? Is that the name of it? Sea of Thieves? Yeah. I saw them Mm -hmm. there. Um, I haven't played it, but I want to. Um, So we don't really stream games much. We stream, um, he's a composer. Yeah, so I do, like, an improv music stream on Sundays, and on Wednesdays I kind of take those ideas and uh, try to turn into a a bona fide song, and then I release that song on SoundCloud. Um, and hoping to release an album next year on Bandcamp and other places. Definitely check out the SoundCloud. It's yeah. uh, Ferris Hysteria. Yeah, if you follow, we do that kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah, we, we're there. F- I guess you could say we're there more for the streamer stuff. Um, I looked, obviously, at the mics, and we looked at a couple of different platforms. Right now I'm using OBS um, Studio, and we're thinking about transitioning over to this, this thing called Lightstream that people were talking about. It seems a little bit more user-friendly for... Uh, what we're using, which is great. Um, yeah, on a Mac, which... Yeah, yeah we're on a Mac, and it seems like Mac seems to be a little bit um, unsupported when it comes to some of the, the major platforms for streaming uh, or the different extensions and that kind of stuff. So, yeah. yeah. We, and I'm just I'm just the mod for this channel, and yeah. I, I was interested in that for, that for that reason, and I had some other reasons. I had a lot of reasons for being here, but we have learned a lot about the culture and the people that stream and the vendors that are available, the resources that are out there, yeah. the games that are coming, um, and just some like cool like fan art, and uh, like we were talking about the stickers from Eager Raptor, that was really great. Yeah. Um, uh, we've just had, I mean, it's just, there are a lot of reasons to have come, and we have uh, really experienced, I think, all of the things that we needed. Um, Absolutely. I think we're coming back feeling really inspired and excited and just ready to do more things do some fun things yeah obs is definitely uh it seems to, i mean obviously it's an open platform Sorry, for things <laughs> oh, really? i'm like i keep forgetting i'm like on camera and i keep like leaning in to read the chat oh uh, yeah it just says hmm, never heard of Lightstream. obs still seems like the way to go in terms of plugins well, it's actually support. one of the charities that we were talking to that sent us they were like you should go talk to them yeah uh we were uh, able, able gamers, gamers. Mm-hmm. yeah so uh Everyone seems to be really excited about the, the Xbox controller that's for people with disabilities. And uh, it's... That's so awesome. Yeah, a couple different charities had it out, and uh, they were talking about how Lightstream is one of their um, Well, Lightstream partners. is making donations. Oh, like, okay, you, Lightstream is making donations If you take pictures of their product right. or something. So we were like, well, let's find out more. And we looked at it. It looks super easy to use, super straightforward. Um, includes all the features that we would need. Right. Um, or use, even. Um, and make it easier for both of us to use it. So that's Flag, good. you mentioned something, then talk about something else, and I'm still asking about the last thing you said. Sorry, <laughs> that's how it works. Oh, it's totally fine. Yeah, uh, we can jump back and forth. I know the lags are, are always terrible with these things, and um, I swear... We're on hotel Wi-Fi, too. This is not yeah. our house. Yeah, exactly. We're still here at the hotel. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, just... I mean, I, I probably will still keep OBS... Um, until it becomes yeah. obvious that Lightstream is going to be a better option, if it is a better option. But it's just something to check out. I really like the how um, the ease of use for the platform, and if it's something where it's really easy to put an overlay or that kind of thing on it. Because um, right now we're having to use like browser plugins for um, Streamlabs and, and that kind of thing. And I feel like that's kind of, I don't know, it, it just seems a l- little hard to use sometimes. Um, if I had a PC, it would be way easier because I use str- I could use Streamlabs OBS, and it sounds like that would make my life way easier. But that's not available on Mac, and um, since I'm doing a lot of my stuff on Mac, um, I've talked about we've talked about maybe even getting like a, a PC to do some of that yeah. in the future. But we'll see. And to play games. But I'm just you know I'm I'm totally on board with whatever it is just to give it a shot. And if it hate it, then I won't use it. Right. Wait. Um, but yeah, anyway. This is a time of great experimentation for Paris Hysteria. Yeah, so the typical stream on this channel, basically, he's just asking what the, uh, or they're asking what the, um, base, typical stream on this channel is like. Mm-hmm. Thank you and, for checking that for an I appreciate that. Yes. Uh, so, music stream is basically, I have a looping station, so I have, like, a keyboard, 
and a guitar and an electronic drum set and different synthesizers and basically I try to create a song on the spot based on what people are saying in the chat or just ideas that we're having if the chat's you know dead or whatever maybe <laughs> when it's quiet yeah um yeah so uh you should definitely if you're into music you should check out um the last song that's on the soundcloud.com I can't look up the link I'm here yeah the uh, soundcloud.com slash paris and stereo yeah. Um, and that came out of improv. Like I was just, I was just noodling around. I just threw some lyrics on a page based on um, a hook that you had written mm -hmm. um, in a song, and it was just a, it was just a keyboard part. And I was like, oh, I'm gonna write these lyrics, and then it just became the song. So on Wednesday nights, normally um, uh, he'll do a stream where he's uh, like recomposing the song and like making a finished track, and you use Logic. Is it Logic? Yeah. So yeah. I use Logic for the finished track. Um, and we just took the ideas from that improv session mm -hmm. and made it a full-fledged song. So if you go to soundcloud.com slash Paris and Stereo, um, it's the first track on there. It's called Southampton Park and Ride. And we were super proud of super how proud it turned of it. out. It sounds really cool. And, on and it's just one yeah. style. So, I right. mean, he's, um, you've written, I think, some gospel songs. You've written some dance songs. <laughs> you've written some... I mean, just like all over the board as far as genres. We've definitely yeah. had some, like, not maybe rap, but like borderline kind of spoken word stuff. And some. Uh, definitely, yeah, exactly. 80s vibe if you're listening yeah, to it. Yeah, that um, one, that so, one. yeah, it's basically we just kind of write whatever comes to mind, and I try to, and I try to keep it varied up. Um, I really appreciate you liking it. Thanks for, for checking it out. Um, he says, 80s vibe, love it. Love it. Uh, yes, so, nice. yeah, it's it's super fun, and we, we're hoping to take more of the sessions, because we do, I do, like, maybe six to ten songs per stream. Mm -hmm. um, so the production of those is, like, that takes a while. Yeah. And then we uh, take those songs and, and make it into a, a real song, and, um, and which is the one you're listening to right now. I don't really have a favorite genre, you're asking there. Um Really, anything, I mean, I like melodic stuff, so I've written orchestral music, I've written reggae music, I've written, you know, like I said, um, gospel or rock or <laughs> metal or rap gospel. or whatever it is, but you, you know. But really you some bossa nova. Bossa some, nova like, stuff, right. Um, that kind of gets to be like a, almost like a world music song every episode that's just right. like tons of drums because you're <laughs> an excellent percussionist. Thanks. Um, uh, yeah. No, it's... I've always um, had a good ear for music, so I always pick up things from what I hear, and I'm like, oh, what makes this song this kind of song? When you have a degree in composition. Well, so. but I mean, before that, I, yeah, that, that was just what led me to music, is that I was always like picking stuff out from what I heard and wanting to replicate that. So I uh, turned that into a channel recently, and, and it's been a lot of fun so far. Yeah, the degree helps. It kind of does. I actually did music I mean, creation before. In, yeah, yeah. Um, I just kind of learned more about what I was doing. Um, I, ha I remember I was talking. And like why it works and why. Yeah, it doesn't work. I was talking to a, a instructor in um, back in high school, and I was showing them some of the music I was making, and they said, "Oh, you know, you know, college is really just going to teach you what you're already doing." Um, and I always sort of remembered that because I thought it was a, a cool compliment. It just means basically that, yeah, I, I learned some of the theory um, later, but I still, to this day, don't really utilize a whole lot of it when I'm actually making music. But listening to a lot of music and uh, just exposing myself to all kinds of different genres and styles, that probably helped the most. And, and even academic stuff. So I think that all of it's kind of given me a better framework for how things work. Um, Sometimes you have to learn all the rules yeah. to deconstruct something, too. Well, so, yeah. I, I, It's just funny. A lot of it is just kind of, it comes to me, like, real, almost You should hear naturally. him do some acapella. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What was it? Oh, God, what were you doing last night? Last night? Dubstep. Acapella dubstep. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You were doing just, like, just, like, <laughs> crazy <laughs> Don't give him my ideas. Yeah, no, no, don't, don't um, ask for it. No, but the... Uh, but he'll do it if you're around. And, right. And well, we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm... They were playing all this dubstep music last night. Uh, they were playing at this the, one song at with, the like, different, slightly different variations. It wasn't even, like, good, good stuff. Yeah, and it was just... Um, I was noticing uh, the same pattern every single time with the, the build-up. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and then the, the beat slows down about a half speed. 
and then it goes down you know it just has this terrible noise of some sort in some rhythmic fat passion or fashion with this you know driving beat underneath it and it's just Acapella it, death every set. single time yep yeah sorry i said that out loud yeah. No, it's gonna be like <laughs> right. Careful what you uh. Sorry, you I screwed it up. Bring... <laughs> no, no, it's fine. No, um, it's hilarious. It's hilarious, and it was, it was, I mean, it was a fun, interesting concert. I mean, we've been to a, a multitude of concerts that right. we wanted to be at, so maybe yeah. I'm like a little negative on this one for that reason. But it was also like, uh, it was good, and it sounded good, and the crowd was great. So yeah, no, we had a, we had a, a damn good time with it. So. Uh, What's our next concert? We've been to so many lately. I've yeah, I don't even think we have anything else planned for the year. We have oh. Mystery Science Theater 3000. Okay, well, I guess that's not like really a concert, week. though. Right? <laughs> yeah, okay. I guess we're going to have to do uh, Acapella Dubstep next I'm time. Just, that's I, all we're going to do from now right, on. <laughs> right. Um, this, no, is your, this is your next vegan Believe tour. me, it's not going to be as, as exciting <laughs> as you think it is. It is. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's going to be a mess. But, but definitely but follow. Definitely and, uh, follow and check it out. I'll, I'll do my best in trying to make that happen. Yeah. Cause it <laughs> our streams are generally hilarious. I think my favorite song from our last stream, mm -hmm. or our last couple of streams, was uh, the Keep Calm and Fus Roda. Oh, that was the, a that was a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, we did a, a Skyrim theme song. That song was so fun to write. Uh, not a Skyrim theme song, but a themed <laughs> song. Um, Skyrim. Right, yeah. Uh, basically, anytime anyone calls out anything in the chat, we try to make a, a song out of that. So we did one about uh, fairies in Zelda. We did one about... I'm trying to think of some other crazy ones we did. There was one you did Based about Smash Brothers last week, but we Smash also Brothers. wrote a song about being forced to play the Oregon Trail mm -hmm. uh, because of a, a punishment. Right. Which was somebody somebody literally came into the chat and said, I want you to write a song about being punished and forced to play the Oregon Trail, and that song's called Willamette Damn It. Oh, okay. If you look in the video clips uh, somewhere, I don't know if it's here yeah, or Yeah, um, there should be highlights in the chat from at least... For a little while, I was cutting out every single song, and then I've been a little... Been lazy. lazy lately or just busy or it just takes a lot of time to go through all those songs and tr figure out the start and stop times uh, it says dragonborns and it's penny piece you should ask her about skyrim stuff because yeah. i am that's not his kind of game i, I, my kind I of have game. a hard time with rpgs sometimes i just i don't <laughs> it's just so much to take in and so many things to pick up and then sell to someone and i'm just like can we have a more linear game uh, I don't deal well with sandbox environments, I have to say. I love it. Yeah, no, I, I mean, and I there's a it. place for it. And obviously the I soundtrack for the things I played it all the way through, like, like, with all three different, or with, like, three different races, just because I, I like their different traits. Right. But Khajiit forever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Khajiit that's, like, straight to the Thieves Guild, like, <laughs> creeping around. My right. sneak gets... <laughs> no, no, talk about it. No, my, my, uh, I'm, a, I'm a sneaker and a sniper in that game for sure. And mm -hmm. I creep around with a bow and arrow and shoot the, the Draugr and stuff. We no, got, I, I, lo I love that whole universe. We got the VR thing recently. Yeah. Um, and that was that's pretty cool. I, I have a hard time doing it. Uh, a good soundtrack for a game can really sell it. I it's totally true. agree. Um, I'm a huge fan of the Naughty Dog um, company. Um what they do last of us and uncharted they have great soundtracks in my opinion and those are more my type of game like you get in you play for 15 hours you're done <laughs> yeah um or a platformer like uh i'm a huge nintendo fan so uh, the... mario stuff all that stuff is, is super great the mystery box um yeah so that's the question that's block got, mystery box that's why we got that one but the uh can i see this yeah yeah He's been playing with this thing. This thing is called a cookie press, but that's not what it looks like. So if it looks like we're we're just diddling around with this thing, then it's it's a cookie press. It's got the yeah. It's the, got. It looks like it's the it's the wolf gray. from the what's that, that family wolf? called? The if you want to make some ones. is this what that is? Yeah, yeah. It's their crest. Whatever it's called. I know. I I feel like the worst fan sometimes when things come I out of loot of boxes. Names. And do they just put Stark. it back? Stark, the Starks. Closing my eyes. Yeah. No, it's not that kind of channel. You don't have to worry about it. This is a channel. Oh, channel. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it's I like know. a, a wooden I pacifier. Just, I just realized. Or... Yeah, I just. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> I just realized you were. Uh, I just realized you were playing with it, and I was like, maybe we should. Talk not. about what it is? Yeah. <laughs> we should address Yeah, I put anything in my hands, and I automatically start fidgeting yeah. with it. So. No, that's good. 
Yeah, it looks like a wooden pacifier. Yeah. It does. <laughs> it's a weird thing. Uh, but there is actually more stuff in here. We we were just getting oh, started. Two with of them. It. There's a driver too. Oh, we can just like take this off. And I think it should be a, this should be more of a um a question of like what the hell is this? Um, because what the hell is this? <laughs> oh my lord. Uh, it says little monster on it. Now, if I look at the uh, the back of this, uh, let me let me ask you: Do you do you know what this is? Before oh, I tell you what it is, yeah, no, totally yeah, no, this is. Any a ideas monster. what this is? Let me bring this up. <laughs> little monster. Oh, it's from that horrible DC Comics movie. Really? It's from no, it's. Uh, yeah, tell me. S Suicide is Squad. Is it Harley Quinn? Yeah, this is Harley Quinn. It's har it's horrifying. This is Harley Quinn in a cube form. Apparently. Why would you do that? I don't know. But they also have, and I wish I gotten some of these. Oh, I wish I gotten Flash, because that would probably make a lot more oh, sense. Oh, Flash would be cool. Because look at these. These actually look a little more interesting. Robin and... But I got freaking Harley Quinn. Yeah, somebody somebody wants it. Maybe we'll uh, we'll do the giveaway with some of this stuff later. Yeah, we might, we, we might end up giving away some of this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Let me see that. What else do they have? Huh? This is oh. by Wish Factory. Yeah, I've never heard of uh, Wish Factory, but it's... It's Wish Factory. I like. I mean, I'm kind of done with the Kawhi Cubes, but I don't know if, if this is the one for me. I don't know if any of these are. I agree about uh, VR. I think that there's a, a lot of... Um, hmm. There's lots of technological advancements that I'm looking forward to in VR, and I think it's going to get better with the head tracking and, and everything else that could potentially make you a little nauseous. Our eye tracking is coming a long way, too. Eye tracking, yeah, that's important, too. So anything they can do to try to make it more one-to-one, -one, because right now it's a, just a little queasy sometimes. And, yeah, the HTC Vive Pro is just Skyrim like, VR is ridiculous. It, it's, it's cool. It's so immersive. Like, it's so immersive, and I just... Um, I can play it for about an hour and a half, and I just can't play it anymore because I'm so like yeah, one underwater. The Vive Pro is like oh, it's crazy how expensive that is, but right. Eventually, we'll get to a point where they're actually more reasonable. I am now. This is a mug. It looks like Ooh. for drinking. For drinking, a mug or a cup. It's, I think it's a pint glass actually. Ooh. It's hard to tell. It's wrapped in all this bubble wrap. So. All right, here we go. Here we go. It is a oh, Pikachu. It's a Pikachu pint glass. It's actually kind of cute. Is it like Mecha Pikachu? Because he looks like he's got a robot or something. Just funky. Do not microwave cold liquids only. All right. What are people doing that they have to label things like that? Don't microwave. I, don't know. I like this little liquid. piece of random foam in the bottom of it. Yeah, because you foam anywhere else. But yeah. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cute. Yeah. Pokemon bottom label pint glass. It does have a label on the bottom. I don't know if that's important or if you're supposed to remove is that. It collector's item. But there you go. That's cute. Cool. We do have some other things in this box too. I'm going small to big as far as I well, for just the most like, part, except for that thing. Yeah, okay, well this is kinda random. Another thing I haven't seen. This is a charms bracelet jewelry set from Secret Life of Pret of Pets. I think it's a new, a Pokemon. new Pokemon. Oh, well, that's cool. I I, I yeah. saw the hmm? first one. Yeah. In the theater with Shelly. Really? Yeah. I have to say, despite being a, a Nintendo fan, really the only exposure I've had to Pokemon is once I sold Pokemon cards at a mall in like 2000. I have a stack of Pokemon old. cards that are like that big. Um, like like the, really? the olden times. Yeah. That's funny. I, I liked it then. And I kind of fell out of touch until Pokemon Go when I went back. Is it the first one? So many feels. So many feels. Too many feels. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I guess I need to see it. Yeah, um, you should. We'll watch it. I actually, I, I went out and bought the, the Pokemon Dance remix from the theme from the show, I think. Really? Like, yeah. Like the iTunes? Or from the movie. I think it was close to when the movie came out. No, I bought a CD. This was like... Oh, shoot. I'm an old person. See? Yeah, we, we are the old people. And I bought the... Uh, no, I bought this... Uh, Thing to listen to in the car with like my friends this is just awful in the car because that's how old i am i wasn't like a kid when it came out probably shouldn't even oh, open so this i could just like hand it to someone i just really wanted to apparently see the quality <laughs> level of each of these rubber the secret life of pets can i see was I that a movie are, they, are those actually like there is a movie they're movie characters. no no i know there's a movie oh, it's a bracelet and four charms you know well who? i know what i'm wearing tomorrow <laughs> 
Yeah, if you're looking for Paris and Stereo at TwitchCon, be sure that you look for the guy, the grown man, and the yeah, sparkly, that and the, cheaply um, made Chinese boy. It's pretty bad. Jesus. It'd be they're cool cute. if they're like a little metal or it's metallic like a or something, bracelet. but they're not. Oh, no, it's totally a charm bracelet. It's what it says. You know what we should, yeah. yeah. You go, Lila. Happy birthday. Right? Yeah. <laughs> she, <laughs> she, won't, she won't know, so that no, I opened it already. She doesn't. All right, there's one last thing in our box. She's my niece. So. One well, last thing. Okay. One last thing. Okay. Just make sure. Oh, no, I'm sorry. There's two last things. Two last things, and mostly I want the box. Like, I'm excited. Yeah, we're mostly excited about having the box in the, in the, in the background. <laughs> Truly. Um, it's Negan time. I'm guessing, you know, what's funny about this is I, I watch Walking Dead, but I haven't watched Walking Dead since, like, 2015 or so. I hate it. This I hated the first season opinion. of it. I don't want to know anything about it. I know there was a comic or a yeah. graphic novel. Don't care. No spoilers. But I don't know what this is referenced to, so probably a character that um, hadn't appeared until... In fact, I think that's... No, I don't recognize the actor. Billy Bob's brother? Right. Uh, but yeah, air freshener from Walking Dead, so it must smell like rotting flesh. That's the only thing I can assume, <laughs> given that. Uh, I'll say, as a musician, I asked your opinion. I just heard about this trend. Have you heard about the Baby Shark song? Yes. Um, yes, I have heard about the Baby Shark song. Um, I don't know Josh the genesis Groban of did? it. No, I heard... You told me that yeah, he did I heard, one. Yeah, is it Josh Groban and Adele or somebody singing in on... Uh, some late night show and I thought it was really funny. Uh, yes. Uh, so what was the question about the song? Have we heard Just, of it? Just have yes. we heard about it? Yeah. Um, yeah, the baby shark. Do, 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 do. Baby shark. Yep. I think uh, it's a great, I think there's a great musical trend every six to 18 months. Seems like it, right? It just gets ridiculous. This morning we woke up singing the Numa Numa song from <laughs> the olden days of YouTube. We were like, hey, there's this thing called YouTube. Have you seen this video? And it was this guy singing some like Finnish song I don't know yeah it, it I you never know what's gonna hit 8 billion views in instantaneously that means, like, or what's gonna grip the nation every it's human crazy. being on earth has seen it I'm right pretty sure. I don't I don't understand it at all yeah. but it's how sometimes it I just goes. burst into singing it because I like the do 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 parts of song yeah there's 1.2 billion okay well okay. so just everybody in India right <laughs> everyone in India <laughs> they've all seen it um no it, it's I, I think it's fascinating to me, like in, in a, a totally kind of opposite, not opposite sense, but in a more macro sense, I always think it's interesting what parts of songs that everyone knows. You ever know the songs are like, you're like, blah, 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 living on a prayer. You know, like it, suddenly everyone can sing that one line from the song. It's not even like necessarily the title of the song, but there's like one part of the song where everyone knows and everyone else goes like, blah, 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 to, leading up to that. And then we all just like lock in. And I always wanted to know, like, what makes that one little part so exciting for people? Um, what makes it, like, stick in their minds? There must be all kinds of psychology about it uh, that I haven't read about. Uh, there's a lesson to be learned at what trends. Yeah, exactly. Like, what is it that really think, grips people? I think the trend is that people like having fun, and they like a break from their, I hate to say dismal realities, but they need a break from... Mm -hmm. from all that serious stuff that happens. Like, remember the journalist whose family kind of his little kids burst into the room and they were mm, adorable. Right. Like, one of them was in a walker mm -hmm. and we were so relieved in all of the bad news we felt like we were having at that time. Um, there was just something that we could latch onto that wasn't that wasn't serious. And I think that's the thing with, like, I mean, the Macarena and uh, Barbie Girl. And the Hamster Dance, the maybe. The Hamster Dance. I'm pulling, like, all old <laughs> references <laughs> tonight. <laughs> See? That one's a good one. He just one. never know what he's going to do. It's great. Um, no, it's not fun. It, it doesn't get stuck in your head. Um, fun doesn't get stuck. I don't it know. It will kill you. I think. Right. I, I mean, think... earworms can be a problem. I agree about that. But I... Ew. Uh, right? Yeah. It's, it's, so she'll have, have your doctor look at that. Baby earworms. Do, 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 <laughs> baby earworms. Um, but no, I, I don't know. It, I know a lot of people expect musicians in general to get kind of snobby about music and say like oh this i mean i do say stuff sucks all the time it's not that um but i don't think that but you say why it sucks you do yeah like i don't seek out baby shark as a i guess it, it never got stuck in my head the way it gets stuck in some people's heads i know some people have like a, a real problem with that other stuff gets stuck in my head for sure 
But yeah, repetition is a is a big part of it. Also, how fast someone can latch onto it. Just having like something where they can say, "Okay, you know this." In fact, you see that a lot of, in a lot of uh, modern songs. The the so called uh, millennial whoop. The yeah. whoa. whoa, whoa. And anytime you hear any kind of like, th- there's a super cut of these on YouTube of like. Ah, I think it's like arpeggios too. I think people just like like for some reason. It's like, like these just two just notes a third stick. apart from each other. Mm. Um, and there's something about that that's super catchy. I think they figured out at some point in time, and not everyone does it in every song. It's like you can cut half the lyrics out, and now you can just go whoa, 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 and then everyone is is super I'm sure excited about your song. There's some scientific reason. There's some some study in neurology out there trying to figure out why songs, certain songs, get right? stuck in our collective heads. Uh, Where's that guy? Uh, gosh, I can't remember his name, but there's a guy who wrote like most of Backstreet Boys songs and Britney Spears. Uh, it's like Prince Max Maxwell or something crazy like that, but he uh, is like has so many number one hits, and they all pretty much sound exactly the same. Uh, and Secret even out. Celine Dion has a freaking Max Martin song, Max Martin, I think, and it's it sounds exactly the same. I first time I heard it, I'm like, this sounds like it's by the same people, um, right? Exactly. If you figure out what that reason is for the song, then you can just yeah. There's All day long. I mean, that's that's Max Martin right there. Yeah. That's exactly what he did. He figured out this is the song that you used to write a hit. And for the first 20 years of the millennia, he I'm like is... like the inventor of Coca-Cola. He's right on top of it. This is how much nasty people can stand. Right, exactly. <laughs> so I want to make it this nasty. I mean, if that's your whole game, then I'll, I'll go that's for it. marketing, right? Yeah. Uh, we do have one last thing. the last thing, thing in the box? One last thing in the box. And I was just talking about these guys. This is from Naughty Dog, The Last of Us. And in fact, this is... Oh, you is love jo- this game. This is Joel and Ellie. Yeah. Oh, you They're love this guy. game. I do, I do. We're keeping that. And this, uh, apparently you can also get Nathan Drake. Also one of your favorites. Um, so, yeah. Freaking love Naughty Dog. Can't wait for Last of Us Part 2 to come out. Um, TwitchCon is really more about like the the games where people can play them over and over and over again. Mm-hmm. Um, not a lot of people are streaming Last of Us. I'm sure they will once it comes out, and maybe even I will just for fun, uh, just because I have a channel now. And and we're actually going to start doing some. We, we're probably more interested in retro games. Um, we did some retro games this weekend. Yeah, uh, a couple this, places had arcades, uh, random arcade machines up. Um, so we might end up doing that. A little and bit too. We have too. a ton of games. Mm-hmm. We have a ton of systems, and you have. We just got Rock Band Two. Yeah, I found Rock Band Two new in the box for Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. At the at the retro, at the retro gaming, gaming expo. expo that we went to last weekend. weekend. Um, so it's been Con City lately, but uh, yeah, um, that same set. Like looking on eBay and stuff, those things don't go for much less than two hundred dollars right now, and sometimes like three, four hundred dollars, especially mm-hmm. not new in box. Um, and I, I had bought all these games. I used to run a rock band night um, at a bar eight years ago, and they were all. Um, I bought all these songs for it, and then I didn't have the Xbox anymore, and so it's been really nice to. I'm gonna re-download all the songs. I bought a 360 Xbox 360 again just so I could play this system, and I have old old games with that one too. Maybe we we'll play that. Um, so yeah, we're, we're gonna have uh, fun with that. Play some Diablo. We've kind of been in this like habit of turning it on when we need something fun but not right super involved uh and and we love to play it because it's fun to make fun of too uh so yeah. yeah i don't know i don't know what we'll stream when we do it but i think we're definitely going to start and then maybe write songs about gameplay or games that happen while we're talking about things in the game or right whatever it is yeah uh i mean this whole channel we're just kind of figuring out as we go uh diablo's been great I can't. I couldn't tell you the storyline to save my life, Not but um, I, no I still love beating on. people up. Yeah, no, it's a great game to just go in and, <laughs> and, just and, grind and wreck shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and just it's just been just fun to do that. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know if I could. Uh, could tell you. I would what... say Skyrim is a better game overall. Oh, I'm sure. Skyrim gave me like emotional responses to things. Um, I've heard Dragon Age is really good, um, mm-hmm. and I've seen some of that play. I want to play Witcher three. Uh, she just got f- finished playing um, Breath, Breath of the, of the Wild. Wild. Yeah. 
and that was fantastic. That was awesome. I hear. Yeah, that was a great I'm game. I'm looking forward to playing that one. Cause huge Nintendo fan. Yeah. I know that this is like the Skyrim of Zelda, so I'm a little bit like. Wow, it kind of is. Oh my God, Zelda had me. Breath of the Wild had me but, crying. A I don't say times. your name, so I'm just gonna say she and he. So, so. Yeah, she has great taste in games. She, I'm a happy kaiju. I'm usually in the chat modding. Yeah. Um, it is a, a very strange circumstance of, of life and uh, all kinds of stuff that mm -hmm. brought me here. <laughs> uh, it's a long story. You can you can buy the book when it comes out. But uh, so yeah, I'm I'm actually on camera for the first time. So yeah, no, I'm, in our channel. I'm She's she usually kind of in reason. the background. I'm I'm she. I'm happy kaiju, and this is uh, Jason Paris. Yep. Uh, and this Paris is Imperia, his, so. his baby. My baby. Mm. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to do a little chat just to say that this is what was going on over TwitchCon, and we haven't really done one of these either. And we've just um, been so busy. So last weekend we had the Retro Gaming Expo, and we actually broadcast uh, the after party, the 8-bit <laughs> uh, celebration of, of synth pop and uh, what were they calling it, like chiptune and uh -huh. uh, some other stuff, some, some crazy music. So we, we did that instead of our usual stream. And things have just been so hectic. Things have been a little unusual. So we're like, you know what? What the heck? Let's just open the mystery box on the stream. Uh, Something to do to finish off uh, the weekend. Just right. kind of say hello to everyone. Hang out to our new friend here. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out and chatting with us. It's, it makes it so much more exciting when we have someone to talk to. <laughs> yeah, we talk to each other a lot. So. Uh, but yeah, I, welcome. we just got back from the con and um, we're just gonna wind down for the I think evening. It's time to and, watch TV. Yeah, I think it's time to just kind of decompress yeah, for a little while. Yeah, drink some drink some water out of the Pokemon glass and. <laughs> That's right. Uh, and toast our, our good fortune of having the BB. We got a, we got a with that ten hour drive, ten eleven hour drive happening again tomorrow, after we go to the the conference, uh, the, the couple of sessions that we wanted to go to for charity and some music. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what we can see. Then it's time to hit the road again. Yeah. And have all the good times. And then all night. it's Monday. <laughs> and then it's Monday. And then we go back to our jobs and our our normal uh, lives yeah. and all that good stuff. No, you've been awesome. No, it's been yeah, great. Yeah, I really appreciate you hanging out. Thanks uh, for coming by. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I think we're probably going to um, stop this here in a second. But um, but do click a follow up there. We may do another short stream tomorrow from the road um, if we're able to. But otherwise, we'll be back on Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, and I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a regular improv stream or if I'm going to be working to on... Track. Yeah, because it's been a little while since I've started working on a new track. Um, but we're going to kind of comb through the archives and see what other song we what's interesting just, we to work on. We might just see that on the stream, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, some visit some old... Tips. Yeah, uh, I have a lot of these old songs Thanks. on... Thanks, Rue, for already following. It's awesome. Um, we I have some old uh, old loops still on my iPad, and I might be able to bring those out and kind of... Um, just remix them in GarageBand or... Something. Listen to them again and see if anything jumps out to me. Um, I, I think I thing. lost the loops of the first couple of weeks but we've only been doing it since july so there's only, yeah there's, there's only like seven it can only get better i, th I assume <laughs> yeah. but i mean it's also on my youtube channel so if you go to um paris and stereo on youtube i'm also on there all the archives of of all the sessions uh, i think there's been 11 um three so or four hours just turn on if you need some music to listen to yeah uh but so is soundcloud yeah just know that some of the songs get to be like it's a little PG. Twenty minutes yeah. long sometimes because I'm trying to figure out what the heck. Well, and it's I'm definitely PG thirteen. Yeah. Because a couple songs that we wrote on a dare. Yeah, sometimes. Uh, generally, it's pretty PG. Generally. Um, uh, but yeah, everyone's Not that you that. care. I just, I would, just I, throwing I it out there just in say. case to make yeah. sure. Um, but yeah, I think that will about do it for tonight. Cool. Yeah, but I really appreciate you hanging out with us tonight and 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 chatting with us. We'll see you next time, and we'll see you on Wednesday if you want to hang out or, or another night. So I hope you have a good evening, and I think we'll just go ahead and night. end it. Bye. So have a good night. Bye. Thanks so much. Bye. <laughs>